All right, this time around the question comes through email, and you can email me by going to my website, DieterRandolph.com, and clicking on the contact link. Uh, Walt emails me, and he says this, I'd appreciate your thoughts on why the golden rule stresses treating others as you'd like to be treated instead of treating others as they would like to be treated. It seems that a person could be less than pleased to be treated as per another's wishes. This is a, a really good point. And I love the spirit of questioning the golden rule. I think we need to question everything, even things that feel like the, the bedrock of your belief system or what you grew up with or whatever. Let us be the kind of people who can take the things that we allow into our minds and our hearts and our lives and ask that they make sense to our minds and to our hearts and to our lives. Let's question whatever's going on around us and demand answers that are healthy. I have to say though, I also really do love the golden rule. It's true that I grew up with it and so I have some history with it, just like you do probably, but more than that, I love the idea that do unto others as you would have them do unto you means that you have to act first. It's not do unto others after you're sure that you're safe. It's not do unto others after you know you have all of the variables accounted for. It's not do unto others after you know that nobody's going to put you down or make fun of you. It's I don't wait for safety. As we've said a number of times here, validation, proof, evidence comes second. All of those things come after you put yourself out there. If you want to wait for safety, for reassurance, before you give your heart to the world. You're going to be waiting a long time and you're going to be not just bored, but boring. I act first. I do as I would have done unto me. And I think that there's an incredible beauty to that. But there's a point in that question for sure. I mean, if I like chocolate and you like vanilla, am I really being a very nice guy if I give you chocolate because that's what I like? But I think the truth is, Getting to the bottom of this is just like getting to the bottom of anything. And it has a lot to do with getting past the individual details and getting to the spirit of what's being talked about. The trick is to get to the idea behind the thing, just like always. And the details change. The facts change. What you want now is a lot different than what you wanted five years, five days, five minutes ago. And so maybe it's not about the details, and the truth is, you can never really know what somebody else wants anyway. You can spend a lot of time making yourself crazy, trying to read somebody else's mind. A lot of relationships fall apart because one person is mad that the other can't do that kind of psychic prediction. The reason that you do as you would have done unto you is because that's all you can give is the truth of yourself. And like I said, it has to do with getting past the details and more to the truth of what you want, to the spirit of what you want. What you would have done unto you has a lot less to do with what flavors things are and a lot more to do with love, truth, beauty, honesty, faith. These are the things that you really want. Let the details work themselves out. And like I said, that's all you can give. Let's not wait anymore. There's too many people in too many kinds of closets, and I want you to know that the people around you deserve your honesty and the beauty of who you really are. If I can say this one statement, here's who I am right now. Here's what I have to give right now. Here's all of my love. I'm not holding back. Here's all of my honesty. I'm not holding back. Here is my truth. I'm not holding back anymore. That's the spirit of the golden rule, and that's the beginning of the kind of world that I want to live in, because that's a life that you can fall in love with. What are you waiting for? Don't wait anymore, because me and the rest of the world is excited to see what you come up with. In the meantime, thanks for asking your questions. Please keep them coming. Thanks for sharing these videos. Please keep doing that. And by all means, subscribe to the videos. It means a lot. In the meantime, take care of each other. I'll talk to you soon.